on shapes using Active Inspire. As you see, on the right side of the screen we have the Shapes tool highlighted, and here is the Shapes bar. And down here, this little arrow that you see at the bottom of the screen means that there's more shape options available to you. And all you need to do is click on that or tap on it, depending on what you're using, and it shows all of your available options. Um, really, it's a, a powerful way of doing this. But as you see at the top, we have um, very common tools that, that are used. And the one that is highlighted right now is line. So I can do a straight line as you can see and um, there it goes and so forth I can move it around and we have three lines put in there um, we have a rectangle tool which allows you to do a thin re rectangle a, you know bigger rectangle and so forth or a square tool or we have this that's like a square a rectangle tool but with the corners rounded and so forth. It, you can see you know it's it's pretty obvious based on what's there what what tool you're going to be using. Um, notice up here is the the colors. Uh, this one looks like a square with black around it and orange in the middle or yellow in the middle. Um, and that is what these look like. Um, <clears throat> so you you just need to be um, be aware that you can change that. You can change how they look by selecting that. Then your shapes will look just like you see it in that square. Um, this one that I just barely selected is an empty shape. So as you can see, anything underneath it is revealed. You know, great for just drawing basic shapes and putting them over each other and stuff like that.